What's up? We back in here for another first listen. And today, oh my god! Oh my god, dude, I swear, if you could see the spider I just saw. Before we get into any of that, the magnitude of what almost just happened to me needs to be mentioned and respected. I found a new love and respect for spiders. A spider saved my life about two hours ago. That's why I'm letting this one right here, I'm letting him crawl free. You know what, matter of fact, you know what, nah, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to end this. I'm about to be crawling on me in my fucking sleep, in my fucking ears. Just laying fucking egg babies and spider... I'm not about to be the next Spider-Man. Imagine that a black dude walking up walls and people not calling the police. Okay. But like I said, I have a newfound respect for spiders in general because a spider saved my life about two hours ago. A wasp was flying towards me. You know how angry and vicious those wasps can be? When they have you on their target, like on their crosshairs, they will go after you no matter what. They bother you and you not fucking with them. They just like to get in your face and in your personal area. You can fly around me, I don't mind. You can do all that shit. But the minute you zip past my ear, you know that, you know that, you know what I'm talking about. That annoying bzzz that you can hear all up in your ear before they come to attack you. Oh my God. We had no beef, but now it's like you wanna die. And I like to let them live in their habitat. Let me live in mine. But no, you gotta come around. You gotta buzz in my shit. You just love fucking with somebody. The minute you zip past my ear, it's like fighting words. It's like you wanna die. Do I need to show you? Do I need to unlock my potential? You And show you what I'm really about. Now, Cause clearly you didn't read the disclaimer. You didn't read the warning label that's written all over my fucking face. That's, that's another story. This spider saved my life cause it caught this fucking wasp in a web before the wasp got to me. And I was looking at the spider in such admiration and respect because not only did you just save me from potential huge disaster facially, that wasp was apparently talking shit on the gram. That spider said, nah, bro, when I see you, it's on sight when I see you. I'm not playing no game. Spider was waiting for his opportunity and he fucked him up. He fucked him up. I, I didn't even kill the spider after that. I let him stay in that little corner in the garage. I didn't even, I didn't even fuck with him. Have that, man. Take that W. Today we are reacting to T-U-T, I want to say Tut, but that sounds retarded in my opinion. I'm not trying to hate on that. If that is his, if that's how you actually pronounce it, then cool. But having no knowledge of this person, just calling somebody Tut, I don't fuck with that. So I'm going to just call him T-U-T for right now, and we'll see how it goes later on during this thing. You guys say that this is a very reminiscent project of Sylvia Demo, and the last few projects I've listened to lately have been really good. But the one thing you guys did not say to me before I went into this is the shit was gonna be 16 tracks. Nah, nah. I don't fuck with long albums, man. Why didn't you tell me it's gonna be long? I would've brought a snack. What the fuck do you have to say for 16 whole tracks? What could you say to me? It doesn't matter. We're about to get into this. Preacher's Son, first listen. Hopefully it's great. If it's not great, you know the drill. You're gonna run my fade in the comment section below. I'm gonna let you know how it really is. So at the end of the day, it's the end of the day. What? You know the drill, we gotta sync this shit. Powering on. Yeah, you yeah, you turned on, aren't you? You turned on, huh? Turned on. Ready to pair. Oh, you nice and ready now, huh? Pause. First track we got intro. It's the arrest of 39-year-old Kelvin Houston. He's accused of shooting Chattanooga police officer William McMillan in the Emma Wheeler subdivision. Then a third shooting five hours later on Tennessee Avenue in St. Elmo. Crazy, man. All right, so the intro track, I guess, is trying to uh, convey a message of, you know, this is how our current situation is in the world, or um, crime is really bad. So um, I also noticed that he has a blunt in his mouth, and he also has a halo. So I don't know if he's trying to convey a message of he's trying to get to a higher place. Wait a minute, maybe, wait a minute. Did I just answer my own question? He's got a halo on and he's smoking a blunt trying to get to a higher place. Oh my, I could put that in a rap. That could be a bar. Fuck with me. Next track we got Fall of Goliath. Isn't this from... We got his boy living. We ride for our niggas, tell a lie to these piglets, I can't deny that. But I'm like David, the heart of a fighter, the rise of a king. There was still your dough like Kareem's agent, stocking caps. So preachers promise lies just to pay your tithes. I was acting on in a pocket full of stones, is all I got for my foes. I fuck with that track, man. He was uh, letting you know kind of how, you know, the world is right now vocally instead of 
letting you know how it was through newscastings and stuff like that. But best bar of that song was something about the preachers telling you lies so you can pay your tithes. It's fucking like he's good. Next track we got Corner Stories featuring Michael Da Vinci. Crackhead sitting on the corner. Looking like he might be in need when the rent people too, give him like a little bit of cheese for yeah. He was making sure his daughter yeah. then was straight though Screaming motherfucker, cop the car wins low Louis Cullis with the motherfucking yeah. there, ho Ran the trap like a goddamn yeah. drive through Slag a crack out the m- and the drive through okay. Nigga gotta get bread By any means, we started out with nine niggas and they all dead I'm in a pocket full of trees, see this shit yeah. cost a dub and ain't got no six keys they go car wins low Niggas ask me how I'm doing shit, I'm fucked up So disease, little kids run to the house in the door oh. Old head slit down the street, got a nose for the seeds I so good, purple raining holes make a wreck Pretty cool track uh, with Michael Da Vinci. So far, he's doing a pretty good job of telling a story and uh, opening me up to him Do I have to say pause? I'm not saying pause. He's doing a good job of opening me up. Okay, now I gotta say pause Dame, where you at? Where you at? Okay, Dame apparently doesn't want to come, okay Whatever. Next track, we got Prophecy featuring Smash. Pause. Are you fucking kidding? You decide to interrupt me while I'm giving the night the name of a title instead of when I said something pause worthy. Give me your ring. Pause. No, no, you don't get to keep doing this. You don't get to no. Nish, what are you? What are you saying? We don't. You don't get to keep doing this. No, pause. I decide when you put pause. I say something pause worthy sometimes. Then you say pause. You don't come in and say pause whenever you feel like. What are you saying? I'm sorry you guys had to see that. I don't know what his problem is today. We working some stuff out. He's gonna be absent from the videos for a little bit. We we got a situation to handle. So we gonna get through this stuff. Prophecy featuring Smathers. Wow. Hear that jazz? Wow. Uh, I don't understand what kind of life I'm on. Walking through the valley with my making plays inside of fake it home. Make the wrong thing to me and kill her at the top of the climate. At the good China, I miss versus my line of working from Monday to Sunday. So y'all can pay some attention. I can pimp it some good joker. Made your lady, my baby, roll her around in my stroller. Y'all see the smoke and mirrors when you open your mind. She got that wet pack, they say my name's on the rabbit. Alright, that was another pretty cool track. I really honestly would have liked to see him go on for the full track by himself, but the vibe and the jazz instrumentation and his bars were pretty strong throughout that whole song. So that right there, prophecy. You the favorite. Next track, Living on the Sun, featuring Angel May and Suavo Sax. Yeah. Nigga Dickie say we got the people watching. I say really, man, cause I ain't even know. Y'all niggas be on Twitter just people watch. My cousin just back from North Dakota. Now my ass getting high like a seat. If you want, it might just be the nigga you been dreaming about. Oh yeah. Pause. Never seen it done. There's no way that you could ever kill the flame. So I just have to tell you. There's no way. So pissed off. I can't be playing for the other dudes. Tell her what she's got a webby to a vibe to it, low key. For the pride. 22 with a lot of talent, say bro, I still gotta learn balance My mama call me a little x-ray bitch oh. to the bullshit drumline nigga He don't even read music, oh. read these nuts, give a fuck about anything that a nigga oh. say Wow, that, that put me in a really good mood man, that track had a very nice jazz influence to it It was pretty subtle uh, it didn't need much production and vocals were very good from whoever that was that I just said the, the female vocalist on there and yeah overall it was just a really good track so that might be the new favorite track number six live from Chattanooga oh please don't do it I love piano man I love the fucking piano oh man please keep the piano
Reporting over Reporting this. live from them Chattanooga streets, trying to keep the peace. Swimming in them lakes out in the east, praying never see. Woo! Keep your eyes open, doing homicides at 15. They don't even think. Cold blooded, cold heart. I do this for Yo, my this niggas. My niggas won't be in Tennessee. I do this in for the children who don't know where the fuck they daddy staying. I ain't waiting no bitch. I don't think that track could have got any more perfect for me. It had everything I like in music in one song. Oh my god. T U T. You want one. You want one. I can't even begin to fathom. Oh. Let's just move on. Next track, Holy Water featuring Angel May and Taylor Freeman. How can you get much better? Boy, business, man, you gotta handle business. It's December and you broke and your kids just made a whistles. Another real good track, and it was a real track. It was one of those tracks that lets you know, kind of. You know, I think I know this is basic knowledge to me, but I'm gonna try to come out of this mindset where people can't talk about things just because it's something that I know. Um, you know, when you listen to a track like this, you think, you know, if you're like me, you think, you know, hey man, I think a lot of people should already know this shit, but it's a lot of people who don't. And the fact that he's considerate enough to still talk about it, I have respect for him for that. Next track, we got highs and lows. <laughs> I don't know, that track is really creeping on me for favorite track. I mean, highs and lows. There was no low in that track, so what are you talking about? Track number nine, Karos. Karios, Kyrio, The Trip. Oh my god, no, forget it. You know, I'm done with this reaction video, man. He, he can go and listen to his music on his own. I need to come back. I need more. I need more. It's too right, much jazz, jazz, man. Jazz is my favorite genre of music. Oh, jeez. Answer this all on my tongue. Pray I don't get strung out on drugs. Even though my tank is on empty. Yeah. Sweden down the road to riches. Hoping I don't crash this new bit. Find my fist up and crush all of you. Part of my death in the afterlife. I just might want to talk to like I know I'm not the best. But these folk heard the tunes and they think I'm the best. Got a nigga so best. Take me out with a oh shot for I'm shot by the press. With Tupac and Biggie, let me know what the fuck loyalty is. Ride for your niggas, we do you know? the chance. Do Selling you know? the best, we don't want to do your show unless you come with the fans. Oh, oh great, there's still time for him to go off again. He say tell you the man, we believe it. I've been the man since I've been the fetus. They don't know me, better take it easy. Wing it like a genie when I switch it up. Ain't this the shit you put my eyes closed? Oh my god! Curios, hands down, my favorite track of this project. 
Oh my, nah, nah, I gotta tell somebody. Fuck! Oh my god. Oh, I've never heard somebody flow so consistently, so strong, so well on a track in my... I'ma just move on because if I keep harping on this, I'll just listen to the track again and, and I'll be stuck on this one track and I won't be able to finish the video because I'll be listening to this one track over and over and over. Track number 10, hanging. Who is producing this album? I'ma catch a stroke before I trip about a bitch again. My uh, opponents are here catching bodies like a fucking truck. Like uh, oh. Hey, yeah. I'll be but I spend a dollar on the Arizona T. If you got the faith from marijuana scene, maybe you can achieve bigger things in the league. I'm trying to ball like Kobe and make it out this trap. Ain't trying to take your girl, get your shit together. That's why a nigga had to get his shit together. And now I've been begging on this rap shit. I swear it fell from me each day. Oh my God. So. Why do I have to keep long? Like, I don't, I don't think I should have to keep going. Track number 11, Kids These Days. Niggas try playing like the chef and you ought to know better. Hello. Look at my catalog, it be hella low. Niggas be like, how are you in Tennessee? I'll put the V in balls. Niggas need this because they know if they bought it directly, then they better watch the tone. Then it's just too easy. Please, hey. can you stop? Kids these days are like 17 ass, so I ran up in this home. Damn. Niggas better pack it. Kids these days. Niggas we might have smoke a weed tea to crips. You used to run the cradle when I was a baby, not a pain. Oh, Next track, we got Corner Stories 2. I think I'm gonna need some aspirin after this because I can't even handle all this. Track number 13, Bad Guys. What is this? Sweet, sweet. Fuck sweet as honey, he a honey nut. Oh, now I miss my parents when and we don't talk enough. What we think was the crows be flying low. I'm high enough, I can see you. Gucci wallet bang, Gucci wallet or Louis pouch. Ain't shit changed, but my change, it be quiet. Oh my God. Bad guys, oh. realness, the struggle. Sweet, sweet, sweet memory. Then that cell swear that it was hell there. Yeah. The bad guys, the realness, the struggle. Yeah. The good times, feel this, the awesome. I know you're trying to be somebody. I know you want to be. Did he really slow this shit down? Oh. I'm just like Kyrie Irving, I be facilitating. Oh I'm my god, he did not just say that. Why, why even, why, why, why? Next track we got Sheba with Angel May. You walking all night, girl. I know you be her working hard. I just trying to get them dollars up. Oh, oh, oh. Come and breathe with me. Time to come and sleep with me. They sound Fuck good. I'm starting to my brother love, but he hate me. Money rules the souls. Who gave him this idea? I ain't trying to preach to you. Let me watch You're preaching to me. I need this. I am in the Let church of TUT. That was an amazing duet. What more can I say? What more can I give? What more can I receive? Track number 15, Sunday Morning. You want to shout on Sunday, but want to act royally on Monday. Let me preach. I'm forget. You're trying to get folk back. Can I preach and tell you, you don't have to get nobody back. Man's actually put part of a sermon in his album. Drink to that. Last and final track on here, we got Sunday Service with Isaiah Rashad. Damn, late I was on that screw juice swerving. I swear I'm tired of doing shit on purpose. A lot of niggas doing shit on purpose, but doing it without a purpose. Oh, uh, shout out to stop moving too fast to conclusion. I can't eat your church with communion. We'll get it all right. Oh. Get it all right. Yeah, we get it right. Yeah, we damn, we gotta hurry. Late to the Sunday service. Play. I remember how me and Shu used to run it up. Let's go and count some kicks, nigga. Purpose, but doing it without a purpose. Oh. All right, man. That was.
was TUT, Preacher's Son. I'm gonna make this quick. This was a really dope project. I mean, me personally, I just think this was a really great body of work. He was consistent with flow, designing each song and making it as best that he possibly could. He told a story, and this is also from Preacher's Son. I mean, he didn't do it uh, in a way that made him come off pretentious or self-righteous, which is something that a lot of rappers tend to do when they're talking about topics that are a little controversial. But he did it in the right way. He did it out of the right heart, right intentions, and I definitely fuck with this project. 9 out of 10. It was amazing. It sounded amazing. Jazz influence is something that I really, really like. Definitely looking forward to his next project. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for recommending the song, and I will see you next time. Peace.